guys this is my honey place so we're going to buy some honey just look at that hello <laughs> so i have two brushes what but is in hey i love this place oh. Oh, just look at the honey honey Where's the honey from? We have hives in Nyeri, Moranga, Narok. Nyeri, Moranga, Narok? Yes. And Kijuna is the younger pen? 800. 800? Wow. My hand is going to be a little bit younger. 800. What is this? Propolis. Propolis? Yeah. What is propolis? It's harvested from the hive. It's protected when you have cold, flows. Mm, so a small one, 20 ml, how much? 500 Why? Why is it that expensive? Because it's also very difficult to get it. Hmm. Wow. And we have 4 kgs. So you also have different textures, huh? So the color depends on the flowers. Oh, the flowers? Yeah. Because you know, mm. in different regions we have different flowers. Yeah. Like dry places compared to cold and wet places. Yeah. So which one is usually the best? All of them are okay. Just the color that is different. Mm. And probably the aftertaste may differ. And probably? The aftertaste may differ. Oh, the, the aftertaste. Yeah. Now, crystallization, does it mean that what we call scarium or what is, no. what is it? There's no sugar in Natural oh. honey crystallizes. Natural. Natural honey. honey. Yes. So you as you guys don't add anything in it? No, we don't put preservatives, mm. no additives, nothing. Well, so you have this is a what do you call Muri Road, eh? Yeah. Muri Road just after Waiyaki way guys. And, um, so you call Beehive. Honey house. Honey house. Honey house. Yes. Honey house. Do you have it any anywhere else? Huh? No, only here. So this is your first place, huh? Yeah. Oh, I like your concept. Sana. So you also sell the nini? The, the hives. Hive, what do you call it? The hives? Yeah. Oh, you sell it? Yeah. Like Kamoja, like this one, how much? 5,500. Whoa! Will it even pay back? Yes, with time. So if bees, if it's full. Okay, oh, so you can use it forever, ma? Yeah. How many years? Uh, you know your hive management yeah. can last for years. Years, me, how many? Like even 10 plus. 10 years? Yeah. Oh. And when it's full like that, when you have 5,500, mm -hmm. how much honey is that? Between 9 to 13 kilos. 9 to 13 kilos. Yeah. 9 to 13 kilos. So if this is 800, 1 kg. So 13. So this dude. Mm -hmm. 10,000. So the first. The first harvest with a feedback. Yeah. And uh, how many months are those? Just six. to six months. Yeah. Ah. Six months for the very first time. But yeah. after that, it's it will be three months because that one you harvest with that machine and you extract them. Oh, you extract. So you don't destroy the house. You don't destroy the comb. Yes. Oh. By yeah. centrifuge force, it removes the honey, but the comb remains. So once you put it back in the hive, mm. they're just filling in with honey. It's like they're continuing. They're oh. just filling in with honey. But that other type, the very first one. Yeah. Yeah. The 4500 one. Yeah. You destroy everything. So they start afresh each time you harvest. So it takes six months. To, to always. Yeah. So like for when I use this machine, the extractor. Yeah. So what it means is that um, how, much, how many months will that take? When you use the machine, yeah. three months. Three, three months, months, eh? Months, yeah. Oh, and that's interesting. So, I put the, the nini here and then we just rotate. Mm -hmm. And, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. So, how much is this? 50,000. Hell! Hell! <laughs> hey, honey products are not cheap, eh? And honey products are not cheap. What is this? This that uh, when you use this um, some guas or some you know I see some Indians where 
they they can just have bees and they're not there are people who are like that like they can go to the hive without the suit and they'll not be standing why like, okay they're just like that so chavi Ah. Kwa ni moja. So the so it's in the blood man in nini? Something like that. Let's say as as probably like you would go there hey. Na pewa vizuri. Vita vizuri. So to be safe because your safety comes first. Yeah. Like the way you dress you just go to there. The suit oh, the suit on top. So when they sting, because the thing is very little, yeah. you will not get sick. Oh. So, so he suit me, body suit me. Ah, four thousand five hundred. Yeah. Hell. Yeah, man. I don't know. This this business is not cheap, huh? <laughs> huh? So we respect honey. Yeah, yeah. It's you better, you better. Wow. Well. Are you guys on uh, any social media? Yeah. Yeah? Facebook, Facebook Instagram. Hmm. How? What's the name? Wayaki Webby Keepers. Wayaki Webby Keepers. Guys, free 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 advertisement. I came to buy. Najua is ni patia. So I'm coming to promote Kenyan businesses. Wayaki Webby Keepers. So this just um this is the number I'm going to give them. So so my apple. So if you're not from Kenya, it's plus two five four seven sixteen zero eight nine seven zero one. Yep. I've learned a lot, huh? Mm. You learned from the video. <laughs> <laughs> so you also sell water. Yes, honey water, honey house water. Uh, so it has it has. Long wall water. Doesn't have honey. Huh? Magia tap. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Yeah. But it's, 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 it's affordable. 50 yeah. bucks, so bad. Yeah. B, at B does not, B, unless B you provoke not it. They attack you. Really? They only attack you in a way to defend themselves. Because when it comes around you, you're doing like this too. Like, chase it away. So in its mind, it's interpreting attack. Uh -huh. So to defend, it's thing you. These are forms. No. So so basically. So basically, I, when B come, I do shouldn't just move. Keep calm. Like yeah. the way you do when snakes come, just keep calm. Uh -huh. Snakes, you yeah. keep calm when even you snake, snake. Even snake. Yeah. <gasps> so snake attack because of your adrenaline, it can. Sense it can your smell. blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but if you keep cool, relax. Yeah. yeah. It's, it just it's goes on. When it? it's warm, there are so many here, but they will not sting you because they usually sit here. They come here? Yeah, they will come. But when it's cold, yeah. they are mostly in the hives. Oh, so, so they, right now, yeah. it's a low season for honey because the honey they had stored, they are eating. They are eating. Yeah. Oh, so sometimes you have to let them eat, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no. So, guys, come or call them. Uh, this is not a paid ad, it's just to come and uh -huh. see. All these are made here. Uh -huh. Amazing. Uh -huh. So this is near our local area. Uh -huh. This is our local joint, you know. Very clean, very nice. In a very serene place. This is very, it's like a forest. This is a forest, just surrounded by a forest. Wow, look at that. Reduces the... From the hive, it will be filled so, with honey. Oh, it will be filled with honey. So it releases the honey and you keep the comb. Before I put it here, I use this too. Bef when they seal, they put honey, they mm. seal. Oh. So I use this like oh, to too. open the seals. Oh. Mm. Then after that, the honey will not start dripping immediately. Mm. You know it's thick. Mm. Then I'll put them here. Each section we put two. Like put oh, another two, one. Two, from two this panini. One. Yeah, yeah. Compartment. So there's six. You can also put one. Yeah. yeah. Oh. But then you want it to be faster because we have mm. many hives. Now once you spin, so you spin. Mm, by centrifuge force, the honey spills into the container. Mm. But now you see this one is clear, so it helps you to see mm. once you're done. Then you open the tap here. Mm. 
and get your honey. But now that is not all. That is harvesting. They still processing part. Mm. Mm. So processing. processing is like cleaning. Yeah, yeah. Mm. you have to impact. warm it by a water bath what? to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. Now you measure the honey, the degree, not the water. Mm -hmm. 45 to 50, mm -hmm. so you have to keep stirring continuously. Once you put it on that thing, you stir it continuously mm -hmm. in one direction, mm -hmm. then you keep measuring the temperatures. Mm -hmm. Once it's between 45 to 50, now you remove it. Mm -hmm. Now sieve. Mm -hmm. You can, you first use this one, this sieve, mm -hmm. it's called a double sieve. Mm -hmm. Mm. Once you put the honey here, this one captures the big particles of the wax. This mm. one is it's captures the fine, the fine one. Mm. Now, if you want it to be so clean, mm. you can use now the nylon steel. Mm. This one. Wow. It has a wire, so once you hook it on the bucket, the mm. honey will make it become a bit tight. Mm. Wow. What is this? Oh. Now that one, that is the process for this type of a hive. Mm. The one I told you for 4500, yeah. you use this one. Oh, because you destroy it? Yeah, you already closed. Mm? Yes, now I'll put this kind of honey. Mm. Oh. With combs here. So what does it do? That's what I want to show you in a minute. So first I'll come with my honey mm. and pour it into this container. So mm. this is the raw and filtered honey? Yes. Mm. So I'll put the plate on to where the honey will be mm. and I use this to squeeze it down. Oh, oh. down. And then oh, and then you collect from oh, there. Yeah. You see this are whole so it's going to spill and it will come here and then you collect mm. it. It's still an extract of some sort. Yeah. Like that one. It's called a honey press. Mm. So this is fifteen hundred? No. Fifteen hundred is this one. This one is pollen trapper. Mm. This one is twenty five thousand. So pollen trap, what is pollen trap? The trap pollen. For the bees to use to make honey. What? They use nectar and pollen to make honey. So mm. I'll put this one at the entrance of the hive, you see? Mm. Mm. Then I'll close it. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. This one has to be tight. Mm. At some point here, you want to put it not to be that just to be that tight. So you see, once the bees try to get in, they are not, you see, it's tight. Mm. As they struggle that way, the pollen they are carrying on their wings falls here. Mm. So I'm going to collect it later. Mm. But you put it between one hour to two hours, then you remove it. Why? Because when you put it for so long, the bees will get confused and think this is not their hive and move. Mm. Well, because of the smell? No, 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 no. The trap. The trap. You know, you put it at the entrance, the so they can't get in. in. But the ones that are in the hive will come out oh. through the mm. So once they try to go back, they are confused. This is not our hive because they are used to going and coming back. Mm. Now what's happening? So they just go. Oh, they you don't want them to be confused. So because well, you don't need the pollen. You need the, the pollen. You're harvesting it. Oh. It's eaten. Oh, it's, it's very eaten. nutritious. Yes. So the pollen is for the bees to make You can store it. They use the pollen and nectar mm -hmm. now and water they digest it mix it with enzymes in their stomach then vomit it mm. so it makes honey that's honey yeah no that's honey you what they are vomiting like <laughs> bee vomit <laughs> <laughs> no the only way to get it out of your body is vomit. to vomit so they don't excrete no vomit oh for them it's vomit yes do be excrete <laughs> you don't think so <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Yes, that's what they are. Sasa. Nice. Ah. Every day is a learning. What? Mm. Oh, these. Test the bye bye. Try this one and see. Let's see. How it tastes. So, Fungua, too. Fungua, we try. Oh, we test yeah. it. We have a sample. We have a sample. Want, want yeah, yeah. Or do you prefer yours? No. <laughs> uh, let's no. sample it. Let's sample from it. it. Okay. You know there are people who say the one for testing is better than yeah. what they oh. buy. <laughs> so they we tell them test ours, then try yours. Try yours, <laughs> then compare. Yeah. Mm. Mm. In this case, we're building the road. Skill one of them be more, sir. 
Because, hey, remember there's a time click on a dust up. Hmm. Well, it's thick. Mm, thick, thick, thick. Guys. Awesome. Hmm. <laughs> mm. It's been a while since I I tasted the honey that tastes like really honey. Like, what do you organic. call it? Organic from the shamba, <laughs> from the garden. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. You don't need to preserve it because honey mm. is a preservative by itself. Mm. Mm. So why should I put preservatives in this? Ah. But people put preservatives because mm. most people don't know like characteristics and properties of honey. Mm. So once it crystallizes in mm. your house, you're like, this is fake. Oh. But honey should so crystallize. So because I want to fit that thing in you, I'll put preservatives. It will mm. not crystallize. Mm. So I've satisfied you, whatever. So mm. you're like, this is good, honey. I'll buy this one. It does. They don't crystallize. crystallize, but it should crystallize. <laughs> yeah, it can. Mm. Not always, but it can. But when it does, cold, doesn't mean it's gone bad. Nah, you just put it in. You just put it in warm water to become like mm. So, um, do you do deliveries? Not yet. Oh, mm. so right now it's just purely honey. If we have to deliver to you, we use like. A rider, we call mm. him, he comes to pick it up, bring it to you, but you have to pay. Have to him. pay yeah. yeah. Okay. For some people, it's convenient because they don't come this way. For mm. others, they don't want to pay, so it's in you know, 50 50. Yeah. So, your hives are here? Yes, we have hives. Because I can see yeah. you're saying do not trespass. You have oh. hives here, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Even because the ones down there? Mm. Oh. Yes. Oh, that's why I don't know. So they, oh. have, they have hives in Nyeri, oh. you said Narok. Oh. Where? Nyeri, in mm. Moiga, Kambit, in Moranga, Narok, and now here Muhuri Road. This Bur- Baringo, Bogorio, those areas also produce a lot of honey. Yeah, yeah. Kitui, you don't have Kitui? <laughs> those guys produce a lot of honey as well. Mm-hmm. From us today, and uh, see you on the next one. Oh, subscribe. Uh, please call them. I left the number here. They are along Waiyaki Way. What do you call it? This Kino Kidiru? I don't know. 87? 87. They're around 87. They're around 87 Muhuri Road. Mm. Mm. So please subscribe, like, share, and uh, if you want to see more of this, yes, let's support our own. See you guys.